in this start here. Coming to the plate now, Tim Anderson. And we are set for baseball here Getting this evening. Shortstop, Tim Anderson. First pitch on its way. Underway now on a Friday night as the first pitch of our series misses for ball one. And fellas you take a look at this Rangers team entering play here tonight Boy, the last few weeks have not been kind to them to say the least as they're working on trying to end a double digit losing streak. Yeah Maddie if they're going to find any way to dig themselves out of this current losing streak then they're going to have to downshift a little bit do the little things right play fundamentally sound play good defense turn double plays don't give the other team extra outs. And then somebody hit a gapper in a big spot and let everybody relax a little bit. Hit out towards second. Fielded by a door. And a good throw gets him one gun. Now a moment here to check out the White Sox starting lineup. Dero, what do you got on this lineup in the series opener? Yeah, Maddie, this team has been putting up a lot of runs lately from top to bottom, just swinging the bat super nice, past the baton mentality. Guys not trying to do too much, trusting in the teammates behind them. So here is Avisayo Garcia in his career against Mike Miner. He's just one for six. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Missed with a breaking ball. Minor, 30 years of age. He was a first round pick back in the 2009 MLB draft. Yeah, he has turned himself into a really nice ball player. I wouldn't put him on a superstar level, but you know what? They didn't miss with this pick either. You go into high rounds and you carve out a career the way this guy has, nice pick. Count now a ball and a strike. Bases are empty, one man out. High in the air and drifting out to shallow center. And that'll get down for a base hit. So here's the slugging first baseman Jose Abreu now. He's currently ninth in the American League batting race entering play. He's set and the pitch. Missed with a slider. Time for a look at our umpires in this one. Behind the plate is Earl Hendricks. Hey, d -Roll, Earl Hendricks, he, he's not a guy that gets a lot of complaints by either players or pitchers. He's a pretty good umpire. Yeah, Dan, Earl's got a great track record in his sport. He's pretty consistent, and overall, he's been a fair umpire. A ball and a strike now to Jose Abreu. One and one. You know, hats off to the pitcher right there. You got a great hitter at the plate. It's early in the count, and he wanted to get ahead. Nice challenge pitch right there. My fastball is in there. Snuck that high hard one by him without a swing, but that's a pitch and location he can do a lot of damage with. Got to be careful doing that. The one two. Now a swing and a chopper foul right at home plate. Here's another one two. Count still at one and two.
checks his swing here, but he does so in time. Yeah, I think that's the idea, Matt. But he might spin the win if he starts looking for it in there. Working for the punch out and the offering. And he tries to get him to reach for it, but it stays outside three and two. I don't even think I need to look in the dugout on this one. I think it's safe to assume he's going to be running. Too good a hitter at the plate not to think he's going to put the ball in play. And he can only battle for so long as he's finally set down here after an eight pitch at bat. One thing to know is not all strikeouts are created equal. Right there, he goes down on strikes, but he really made that guy on the mound work for it. And when you're doing that in the first inning, it can have an effect on how deep he's going to be able to go into this start. There's a big difference between that and going down on three or four pitches. First delivery to him on the way. Takes a high fastball for a strike. And a fastball just below the knees, ball one. Garcia, the runner at first with two gone. Runner goes for second. In there, now the throw. One, two. He's well behind the play. That's an easy stolen base. I think coming into this series, they knew he was one of the guys that were going to have to keep quiet. But he's setting the tone right here in the first with the steal of second. He could end up being a big factor. The one two misses for the second ball. Got him swinging as he runs the fastball by him to end the inning. Back to back strikeouts keep him out of danger. Bottom of the first straight ahead. We are scoreless on the show. TJ House will get the starting assignment in this one for the Shy Sox. What do you have for us on him, Danny? Hey, we're looking at a real solid starting pitcher right here. You take a look at that ERA, anywhere between three and a half and four, but I'll tell you what he does know how to do. He knows how to get people out and he can minimize the damage. He knows how to control the running game. He does a lot of things Leading right. And if he Ranger. does all those things, expect Better a real Gilder. solid performance the in this one. So next to the plate for Texas, Delino DeShields. We show you what he did in May versus what he's done so far at the plate in June. Here's the first pitch to him. And that one just missed outside. And guys, you take a look at the White Sox entering play here tonight. Despite the loss last time out, they'd won four in a row, so they'd been on a nice little roll here. Yeah, Matty, this team's in the grind part of their schedule right now. Just had a short homestand, able to say hello to the family, kiss the wife, tuck the kids in at night, and they're back on the road again. This should be interesting to see the energy this team plays with today. A moment now in Arlington to have a look at the Rangers' starting lineup. Zero, what's your take as they look to end their losing streak? Yeah, you take a look at this lineup they're running out today, and they got their work cut out for them with the sinker baller on the mound on the opposition side. They're going to have to see the ball up. They're going to have to work the home plate umpire. Can't be given four to six inches off the inside half, or he's going to have a field day pounding that sinker in there. Should be interesting to see right out of the chute if he's got the good one or not. Here it comes now to Andres. Tough slider down low for a strike.
into the windup. Here comes the 0 and 1. And here's a foul tip into the catcher's glove. Moves it to 0 and 2 now. Now time is barked out by the home plate umpire. Dribbled up the line. That goes foul, so he stays alive with two strikes. Soft liner to the left side. And that will be a base hit for Andrus. Boy, D roll, that ball wasn't hit very hard, but when you're struggling like this guy is, any knock is a good knock. Yeah, 100%. He doesn't usually get those. He has to square it up mid barrel to find a way to get a knock. He hasn't had much luck this year, but he'll take that any day. Into the box, Adrian Beltre. First shot for him here as he comes in currently leading the junior circuit in hitting. He's set, here it comes. Ball one, clearly trying to control the running game with the slide step here. Yeah, that's a good way of trying to control the running game, Matt. The problem with it, though, it has a tendency to throw your command off because you're worrying about that runner on base. The 1-0. The short hit hard. Anderson scoops it up. There's one. Relay to first in time. And just like that, this side is retired. So the Rangers turned away in the first. On to the second now in Arlington with no score. Stepping in and ready for another shot, Omar Narvaez. He'll lead things off as they look to perhaps build on an already sizable lead. Even though they're up by a boatload early on in this one, you can't get complacent and get lazy. They got to keep the gas pedal down because this team that they're playing can strike and score a lot of runs too. One ball, no strikes to count. One and no delivery. He takes a look at one catching the outside corner. One one. Zero. Swung on and missed, outclassed by that fastball for a strike. The one two is a fastball oh, taken high for a ball. Well two straight fastballs inside haven't put him away. So now it'll be interesting to see what he turns to. Slapped hard the opposite way. That's in another base hit. He's two for two. So the fourth inning opens with a leadoff single. There's another line drive leadoff single right now. I mean, they have an unbelievable. They've had an unbelievable scouting report on these pitchers today. They are finding barrels. They are not trying to do too much. Guys are staying in the big part of the field and hitting everything on the screws. And that'll bring up the shortstop Tim Anderson as the first pitch to him is in there for a called strike one. Five runs seven hits and no errors so far for the White Sox. Favorable call in there for a strike.
A fastball swung on and missed as they set him down for the second time here tonight. Didn't mess around much in that at bat, Dan. No, that was pretty impressive, Matt. I really like a pitcher that trusts and works off his fastball. Right there, he decided he didn't need to use anything else. Three straight heaters and go Gretz bench. So here is Abisayo Garcia. And he's a bit tardy there on the first pitch fastball. It's nothing in one. One for two in the ball game thus far. And it's 0 and 2 to Abisayo Garcia. Here comes the pitch for Garcia. This one's down to third. Beltre is there to second for one, but they won't get two as he beats the relay to first. So here's the slugging first baseman Jose Abreu now. He reached on a single last time and later wound up scoring. First pitch on its way. Boy, good bite on the slider, and it just missed inside. Well, that's a great take there right there on that slider down and in. That's one of the toughest pitches to lay off of as a hitter, that hard breaking ball coming down and in at the back foot. A tough take on a good pitch. Two and oh, zero. Now with the 2-0 count and the power at the plate, it could be fireworks time. This is the kind of count he makes his money in. Garcia is off of first with two away. And yeah. wow, that looked to be well inside, but it's a called strike. Two and one now. Now the 2 1. Waves and misses for strike number two. And he gets under the 2 2 a bit as this is sent in the air out to straightaway central. And he'll get there in plenty of time to put this one away, and that ends the inning. A man left for the White Sox as they're unable to add to their 5-0 lead. Here's Joey Gallo now. He's 0 for 1 after Leading grounding out running. in his only trip to Third the plate so far. Joey Gallo. Infield in the overshift here. Now the pitch. In there at the knees. Strike one. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. And there's a sinker that he just spits on as it misses low. From the windup, the 1 1 pitch. Taken high and deep to right. Back goes Garcia. Joey Gallo leaves the yard with a solo shot. Home run number 16 for him on the year. As they get on the scoreboard here, it's 5-1. to one. I can tell you one thing. You might get away with throwing a ball in that location in the minor leagues, but when you get one up like that in the zone right over the plate against these guys, you're going to get exactly what he got. A really bad result. Up next for the Rangers. 
Hacker. Standing in now, Robinson Chirinos. As he'll go after the first pitch and bounce it into foul territory. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. Oh, one. Here's the pitch. That tough sinker on the inside corner. Now, time granted here at the plate as he'll step out of the box. One run, six hits, and one error in the ball game for the Rangers. On the ground to the left side, Sanchez able to get there. Throw on to first, so a good comeback there as he gets the first the out of the right inning. Fielder, number 30, Nomar in now the power hitting outfielder, Nomar Mazzara. One run in and one gone so far this inning. Here's the pitch. Hit on the ground out to short. Throw gets him, two down. Up next for the Rangers, second baseman. Here's Rodney Odor now. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. And one this out. one's not close. It's in the dirt for ball one. The 1 0 home. Right side. Moncada gloves it. He'll whip this one to first in time, and that ends the inning. Rangers draw just a bit closer thanks to this solo home run. We played four. It's the White Sox five, and the Rangers one. Let's take a look at our game summary through the first six. Striding in once again, Avisail Garcia. He reached on a fielder's choice previously. First pitch coming, here it is. Takes a fastball on the inside corner. Missed with a slider. The 1 1 home. Strike two swinging. And he wasn't going to hit that one with an or the strikeout and there's one gone. For me check swings are right there next to bang bang place at first as the most difficult calls for an ump to make taking a look at show motion the batter doesn't appear to hold up enough so I think the call was right. Stepping in now, Jose Abreu. As he'll take a look at a high strike that time, it's nothing in one. He's working on a one for three thus far. Swing and a miss, and he's in trouble now, 0-2. Hey, this is interesting right here. Got him down 0-2. He's been swinging the heck out of the bat. I thought they would pitch around him. He's going to have to button it up a little bit. Swing and a high pop up. Gallo on the move. Two down. Third baseman, number five. 
Carlos Sanchez. Ready once again, Yomer Sanchez. 0 for 3 with a couple of strikeouts for him to this point in the ballgame. Pitch on the way. He'll start him with a fastball down and in for a ball, 1 and 0. The wind up and a 1 0 pitch. And he won't bite at that one either. It's 2 0. Well, 2 0 now, and this is where he makes his money. If he gets a pitch to hack at, you could bet he's not going to hold back. And a good comeback fastball there. It's two balls and a strike. Bases are empty here with two men out. Two and two count. Here it comes. Lifted down the line in left. And that will end up a foul ball. And he misses this one inside, and that'll run things full. Three and two. Johan Moncada would be next if they can keep this inning alive. Now the three and two pitch fouled off. The next three two popped him up. And Beltre will make the catch to retire the side. One, two, three, go the White Sox. They hold on to their six to one lead. In now the power hitting outfielder Nomar Mazzara. One for two. He singled and grounded out so far. It doesn't look very promising so far in this one as we move into the later innings. Down by a bundle. It's time to get some base runners and hopefully a long ball to get them back into this one. First pitch of the at bat. Tough slider down low for a strike. Not a bad idea right there. Make this guy work and see if he can throw the ball over the plate. Throws the first pitch for a strike. They need to get some runners on base and not a bad plan. Unfortunately, the pitcher came in with a strike on the first pitch. Hit back up the middle. That's through for a base hit, his second of the ball game. So that puts the leadoff man aboard to get the inning underway. Chalk up another multi-hit game for this guy. He is absolutely on fire. He's been on a nice hot streak as of late, and I don't see it ending anytime soon. Here's Rognet Odor now. Ran one in on him there as this is hit softly to third. Throw on to second, so they'll get the lead man, and that's all. The left fielder, number 25. Here's Trevor Plouffe standing in. He was retired via the ground ball last time up. First offering on its way. A knee-high sinker, tough pitch, strike one. What a well-executed sinker right there. There's really nothing you can do with that pitch. You're either burying it into the ground or fouling it off your shin. Behind 0 and 2 now.
Here's the 0-2. Right down Main Street caught him looking. The bottom third of the lineup hasn't put up a lot of resistance in this one. Pretty much has been sure outs other than that one hit. That really puts a lot of pressure on other guys to make stuff happen. These aren't the guys you usually count on, but it certainly helps if they can do something productive. Here's the first pitch to him. Starts him out with a sinker that's inside, 1-0. One and zero pitch on the way, and he'll try to hold back the swing, but he'll do so unsuccessfully as that's ruled a strike. Odor, the runner at first with two gone. Heading out towards shallow right, Garcia will reach out with one hand to make the catch on the move, and that ends the inning. Rangers leave one; they trail six to one. Appearance of the season. One and no pitch on the way. Hit hard down the line, but a foul ball. One and one. A runner at second, nobody out. Ball that just misses inside. That one missed, but if it's a strike, I don't know how you get the barrel of that pitch. You have to really be sitting on it to hit a fastball coming in that hard on the inside part of the plate. The 2 2. And he swings here and sends one in the air deep down the right field line. And that's going to wind up hooking just a bit foul, so a missed opportunity there. Swing and a miss on the fastball, and that's the first out. Well, we'll see a lot of these power arms coming out of the bullpen in these days, but it doesn't make it any less impressive to me. I love watching guys come in and blow smoke right by guys. And that'll bring up the shortstop, Tim Anderson. As he'll look at a fastball in there on the outer half, it's 0-1. Struggling so far in this one and looking to erase his 0-4 ball game right here. A one count, here's the pitch. Fastball down near the shoe tops. One one home misses ball two. two Saladino the runner at second with one away. Had a good cut there but he can't time the breaking ball that evens us at two and two. 
don't kid yourself he's well aware that he has the hat trick right now and after that swinging strike he's looking at the golden sombrero. Working for the punch out and the offering hit in the air down the right field line. But this is just going to wind up being a foul ball. Set. Here's the 2 2. Fouled off. The 2 2 one more time. He is swung on and missed. He got him. Wow, he's just a lost cause in this one. That's the fourth time he struck out in this game alone, and that's not something you'll forget very quickly. That's about as bad of a day as you could have. So here is Avisayo Garcia as he'll take a cold strike at the knees. It's 0 and 1. Runner in scoring position at second with two down. Good lead off a second there. Now the pitch behind 0 and 2 now. him out so a good pitch there and now they're going to need to string some hits together in this last at bat if they want to get back in this thing White Sox leave one as they're unable to add to their six to three lead. Gregory Infante if the man called on to close this one and earn a save in the night. Gregory Infante. So next to the plate for Texas, Nomar Mazzara. So far, two for three in this one. Hey, not impossible, but highly improbable. Even when you're at home to score three runs off a closer like this guy, they've got the work cut out for him. No balls and a strike to count. On its way, the 0-1 pitch. Liner toward right center that gets down and he's got himself a base hit. Hey, Dero, not a bad night. Three no singles, bad. but hey, Second you'll take three for four every day of the week. Yeah, in today's day and age, Dan, where everything's a homer, a walk, or a strikeout, it's refreshing to see this guy throw out three base hits. Up next for the Rangers, Rupna Dodor. No hits for him yet in the game despite his team's offensive onslaught.
ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Strike one to start the at bat. Nobody out runner on first. And a big pitch coming here late, so he'll step out and ask for time. He's ready. Here's the 0 1. Hey boy, big problems here to start this at bat. It's 0 and 2 now. Usually you see chases outside the zone on off speed stuff like sliders, breaking balls, and change ups. But to chase a fastball that far outside the zone tells me this hitter's not seeing it well at all. Inside with the slider, and that'll back him up a bit. From the belt, the pitch. And he lays two, off two. it to even the count two and two. One thing's clear he's not afraid to pitch inside, right? One pitch ducks him away, then he comes right back with another one. So clearly this pitcher he's not afraid to work that inner half of the plate. A full count for Odor three balls and two strikes. Trevor Plouffe who represents the potential tying run here waits on deck. A runner at first with no outs here. Fastball swung on and missed for the first down. I really liked it. He gave up nibbling out of the zone trying to get him to chase. That wasn't working, so he just reached back and fired a good old country hardball fastball right by him. No better feeling in the world when you're a pitcher than throwing a fastball right by a guy. Into the box, Trevor Plew. As the first pitch to him is swung on and missed for strike one. He could really use a knock here 0 for 3 in the game so far. Oh, had him reaching at thin air that time and he's very quickly down 0 and 2. Obviously looking to pull the baseball right there out in front on that off speed pitch. This will be an interesting sequence right here to see if he slows him down even more or tries to run a heater by him. And now time granted here is he'll step out to rethink things down 0 and 2. Oh and 2 here it is. This is foul right side. Runners on first with one down. And another foul ball. That wasn't a terrible pitch right there. But if he's going to execute and get this swing and a miss, he's going to have to get that ball a little bit further down. Maybe even potentially bounce the next one. Another one sent foul. Ready with another 0-2. And this ball's pretty well struck high and deep to left field. Delmonico looks up. is a cardinal sin for any closer. You can't give up the long ball. Good thing for him, he still has the lead. We'll see now if he can rebound and actually keep it. And here's the former prize Dodger prospect, Willie Calhoun. Sanchez is there. He's got it, and there are two down now. Center fielder, number three. Digging in and looking Delino. for more, Delino DeShields. He'll look to keep it going three for four so far in the ballgame. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Now a swing and a fly ball, and this should do it. And he'll make the catch here to end it, and the White Sox. One of the series on the road as the ball game is over.
Yeah, that relief. Really